One of the best things about Tai Chi is that it's for perfectionistic people. Uh, it's also for people with lots of flow as well. So Tai Chi is, a, by the nature of it, is a polarity. So we've got people who are really perfectionistic, really structured, maybe a little bit rigid even, and people at the other end of the spectrum who are really flowing, minimal structure, um, very easy going, that kind of thing. So ideally the balance is in the middle and not a stillness in the middle. A stillness comes, but then it moves again. So there's this small uh, drift from one side to the other. That's the aim. So this is where balance, health, energy, uh, wisdom, all that's found in the middle here. Um, to think that you'll find a balance between extremes, it comes to a point of stillness and it remain there forever, you're deluding yourself. So it comes very still, just like a lake, there's being someone threw a rock in it, lots of dis disturbing. The um, circles, the ripples go to the end and they start to come back in again. Can do, or they just get cancelled out. But at a certain point, it comes to a stillness. It's like, oh, this is so beautiful. You can see the reflection. Um, of what's going on around but then to think that it'll stay still forever that's a delusion as well so it's natural for things to go to a point of stillness and then start to move again ideally we as you gain more awareness through tai chi practice and through the use of tai chi in your daily life the need for you to have to go all the way to one side of the extreme or to this side of the extreme is not needed anymore we have the awareness to know i'm deviating from center i'm a little bit over here now i need to put a bit more flow into what i'm doing I'm a bit too airy-fairy here, a bit too flowy, not structured, need a bit more structure. It'll pull you back to the middle. So we're dealing with polarities. Another way to think about those polarities is chaos and order. Another one. Uh, probably chaos more this side, order this side with the perfectionism. Or, um, or structured and unstructured. It's different ways of thinking about it. Or certainty and uncertainty. We're all dealing with similar concepts here when it comes to perfectionism and, and, and too much flow. So where Tai Chi is very good for perfectionists is that Particularly when you get into the refinement of the movements, it's very particular, uh, very perfectionistic. Because uh, ideally, you know, if I've got to alter my wrist for a little bit, if I make it really big, my whole body, whole body needs to alter. So I'm just, it's all micro movements, or I'm not quite relaxed in my shoulder here. So the teacher comes here, relax your shoulder, drop that a little bit. I feel here relaxed now. I feel it integrating to the structure. So one little small adjustment, it has to integrate and flow into the rest of the structure too. So the one small movement affects the entire structure. Uh, that's when the Tai Chi is getting really good. So it's really perfectionistic. Uh, is, this, is this rib right? Is the head position here? Um, is the weight right? Uh, is the, the width between the feet? So it starts off very, very gross, very uh, large kind of corrections. So the teacher will be telling you to step out to the corner a little bit. Don't just step straight forward. If you do, you're stepping on a tightrope or a balance beam. It's really hard to relax when you've got your feet in this in this alignment here. If someone was to push you, first thing you do is you find this distance between your feet. So it's about one to two fists between your feet. That's the width of the stance. So it's already it's easier to find stability here. So there's gross, you know, uh, corrections. So you know, this the underneath the chin, that height, arms extended 70%, feel it between your back, all those kind of things. So we're getting the Getting you used to your body first, knowing where your body is in space. It's the first thing that always happens with Tai Chi training. It's like, where's my body? I say, you know, people put up your, your left hand and people have put up the right hand. Some people put their left hand down and the right hand up. So it's like, no one's trying to do that deliberately. We're just trying to work out where's the body? How can we coordinate it? So we first, first of all work out where your body is. So we do it by general positions where movements begin and end. Then as you get better, you know where those structures are, you can fill in the inside. So you start to develop the shape of the movement more. Once the shape is more formed, it starts to affect internal. So the external shape of the body, the structure we call it, where your legs are, bending your knees, sitting in the choir, open the arms, roundness, spine straight, relaxed breathing, that all helps the inside of the body start to be initiated. So the chi starts to flow better and differently. And spaces that are normally compressed in the body start to open up and you have a lot more feeling inside your body. So that's all normal, it's a process of Tai Chi, uh, connecting internal, uh, external with internal too. So for perfectionistic people, Tai Chi is awesome. For people who, what is also useful for perfectionistic people is that if you become too perfectionistic, it becomes a problem. And you already would know that, it becomes a big problem. You get too stuck on things, can't move forward. Perfectionism is actually for refinement of things. If you're trying to create something in your life, so maybe you're writing a book for example, if you don't, I don't want to release this to the publisher until it's perfect. 
it's like good luck it'll probably never get out so you do your first draft get something out so you flow with that it's not going to be perfect flow with it do a second draft makes it a bit more uh, more um, co cohesive to what you want maybe a third draft then so it's a refinement is after the initial thing you're trying to build is pretty much built then you refine it that's where perfectionism is used often perfectionism is used at the start and it gets nothing happening at the back end it's just ideas that i've got but i, I can't bring them out into reality here the other side of it is perfectionists they'll need more flow so tai chi's got natural flow inside it's all based on flow it's like running water still water stagnant water uh, still water becomes stagnant over time so we need more water to move through the system more flow so there can be this sense of um, linkage in the body where it's too constricted we want movement we want that kind of thing so within the energy system of a perfectionistic person is flow and that's built quite quite early because it's nature of tai chi when people always see about tai chi it flows tai chi needs to flow if you're too perfectionistic it becomes too mechanical looking you won't have the you won't have the right feeling inside on the other side of it people who are too flowy so they really love this flow they're good at it it's like they're not really that fussed about refinement and movement and um you know where things are meant to be specific details that's a big problem so over time as they do the the tai chi practice they learn the the meaningfulness of having more structure inside flow um, so what someone might look like if they're too flowy usually have financial issues maybe housing issues things to do with the base chakra are not working too well it's all good man we flow blah blah so usually spiritual ideals that kind of thing but really can't manifest what's in heaven onto the earth that's quite a common thing so um, when we put more structure a bit more perfectionism mainly, mainly it's more more structure into the flowing person it balances them out the same as the person who we put more flow into who's too rigid too structured flow balances them out so we're aiming to balance um, both kinds of people then you'll find it'll help your relationships because it helps you flow where you're normally stuck on things the biggest problem in any relationship is your own sense of identity um, that people are always pushing on an edge the more masterful you become in your identity in in, in your in your uh, ego being used for your spiritual development you'll find that people you don't feel like people are pushing on an edge or they don't feel like they're pushing on an edge all the time it feels like they're pushing on something rounded there's a smooth there's a yielding that's the flow that's tai chi